Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out Incogni. Now this is a pretty good service and I think I was actually one of the first people on YouTube to start reviewing these kind of services. Uh, basically what it is, is a data broker removal tool. If you guys are looking for an excellent VPN to go alongside a data broker removal tool, TorGuard is an excellent choice. It's one of the cheapest and fastest VPNs I've used, and it's one of my top rated VPNs here on the channel. Use promo code TomSpark2023 to check it out. Additionally, guys, if you're looking to check out Incogni, I've also partnered with Surfshark. They're actually the brand that created Incogni. And one reason I've partnered with them for this video is that if you do get Surfshark OnePlus package with my link in the description down below, you can actually get Incogni bundled in and included um, with Surfshark. So it's definitely a pretty good value proposition. But you can also just check out Incogni on your own and you'll see my review of it right now. Now maybe you're here because you saw an ad for Incogni or maybe you're looking for a data broker removal tool. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you my objective experience with Incogni and how it kind of stacks up to some of the competitors as well. So guys, Incogni is a data broker removal tool and basically what it does is goes to websites like White Pages and like 100 other similar websites out there and basically what it will do is remove your real life information from these websites like your name your address um, and basically your phone number and even the phone number in associations of your friends so this is a problem because if someone does find your real life name they can therefore find your address and these kind of things. So it's definitely kind of concerning when that happens. And generally what I recommend to people, at least in my audience, is to remove that information from these websites. So if someone does find your name, they can't find out your IRL information and dox you and harass you. This is a big problem and it's become a bigger problem over the years as generally people have become a little bit more toxic online, I would say. Now, how do I know this is an issue? Well, it's because one of my videos, I get comments all the time with people saying they're getting docs on Discord, some have found out their pictures, and now they're threatening them. Just look at this guy complaining about it. This guy's talking about it too, as well as this guy. I think I've been doxxed because someone got my address, full name, phone number, and Gmail. Do I need to be worried? This guy says, I'm pretty scared right now, as this guy is saying he's going to make some calls and release pictures of my face. This guy says, I'm upset someone on Discord and now they claim to have fit pictures of me and I've crossed them with others and they're faking messages, say they have info information about me. So yeah, this is happening all the time. Getting doxxed and having your information leaked is a huge issue. Now, since there are so many websites out there, these services are becoming more popular because you don't really have the time to go to each one of these and send hundreds of emails. So basically what Incogni does in these services, they'll basically email all these websites for you and request information to be removed on your behalf. This saves you time and time is money. So you could therefore effectively remove information from yourself from the internet. This will also result in less um, robocalling and just general spam overall to your person. Now, there are some other services out there like Optory and Delete Me. In my opinion, I've tested out some of these services and the main con with these services is they pretty much do the same thing. They're just more expensive. As you can see with Delete Me, it's around $130 a year. And we have other competitors out there too, like Optory, which pretty much do the same thing, but they're also just as expensive. So my preferred one to use is Incogni. Incogni is also a pretty big brand and I do believe it's gonna be the biggest data broker removal tool since it is created by Tessanet or Surfshark. It's kind of like a partner brand of Surfshark. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing. As you can see, it's $78 year after year, which is $50 cheaper than some of the competitors out there like Delete Me and Optory. So definitely a very solid deal when compared to the competition out there. So what happens when you use Incogni? Well, basically when you buy it, you're going to sign up for a subscription and you're gonna give them your information. Once you give them your information, they're gonna start emailing websites and requesting that information to be removed. After that, you're gonna get updates month after month pretty much in an email letting you know what's been removed and the progress about it. The good thing about Incogni is it has been updated since around a year or two ago since its first creation. And I've noticed a good amount of updates with the platform with improvements to the user interface and so on. So I'm gonna log into my test account to show you what it would look like. So once you log into uh, Incogni, this is what it's going to look like. 
Sometimes you might get a thing like this, which means you might need to provide a little bit more information to specific databases that have your information removed. As of right now, you can see with this test account, I've sent or they have sent 195 requests um, for me. There's 25 that are currently in deletion and 170 websites have deleted that test information. According to Cogni, this would have taken me 127 hours and I actually don't really doubt it because finding a list of all these websites, emailing them, going back and forth would be a huge pain in the ass and that's pretty cool. You could see a full list of activity from what has deleted this test information. As you can see here, it's been doing it pretty much since I started subscribing. And that is the benefit of the subscription service is that they're constantly adding more websites and constantly adding more things to actually remove your information. So it's not like, um, you know, you do see a good amount of detailed information on what they're doing. The good thing about Incogni 2 is you can see detailed information about each specific website, you know, how it collects your information, why it was removed and so on. Um, you can also see um, more information about the individual websites and how they work, which is kind of cool. But this is kind of like the main panel and where you'll check up on your information and how it's being removed. And if you want to make sure it's working, you could go to these individual websites like, say, Comscore or White Pages or any of these websites. Look up your name and then you'll see that your information has been removed. So pretty good. Now, are there any cons about Incogni or any cons about the way it works? Well, it's honestly kind of you know, one of those services that's so hard to review in that specific sense. There's not really much interaction here. You pretty much just sign up, you pay, and then it pretty much does all the work for you. And you could check every once in a while to see if the information has been removed. Really the only thing of a metric to make sure that it's working is if that information is being removed. And you can verify yourself, like I said, by going to these websites and it does work. The good thing about this is I've noticed an, a, re a reduction in robocalls, a reduction in spam, and it definitely seems like um, it's prevented people from finding my real life information and it definitely can help you do that as well. Like I said, it's also cheaper than competitors. It pretty much does the same thing. All of them are pretty much going after the same websites. So I don't think there's really that much difference in how many websites out there are being kind of um, patrolled and removed the information from. So in my opinion, this is the best service that I've found. So guys, if you like this review, go ahead and use my link in the description down below to get the best price that will lock in the best price to make sure you get the best discount on Incogni if any discount is running. And I'll see you in the next video very soon. Just before guys, if you do like this review of Incogni, use my link down below. It's an unsponsored link for this video and it will make sure you lock in the best price with Incogni.